I'm ready. All right. Start over. Okay. Welcome to this episode of Gray Matters. Today we're going to be talking about UTOF's phenomenon. We wanted to mention and give thanks for everybody's participation in the walk. And we also want to tell you about our website that's going to be going live in, hopefully, in just a few days. Please stay with us. Is it an episode? Is it a show? I don't know. This week's show. Seeing as how summer is here and it's very hot outside, we want to talk about the effect of hot weather on our patients. You know what? I forgot to introduce myself. I'm here with... Dr. Lottie. Dr. Joshua Katz and... Dr. Ellen Lottie. Before we get started, I'd like to once again thank everyone for their participation in our annual Journey of Hope Walk. That was extremely successful, both as a community building event and in fundraising. We raised over $50,000 this year, which blew us away, frankly, and we had over... That's spectacular. It is spectacular spectacular, since our conservative goal was $30,000, so we're very, very happy with that and equally happy that we had over 100 team members present on the day of the walk. And it was a great time for everybody. We've gotten a lot of great feedback. So thanks to everyone for showing up and participating in whichever, whatever way you did. Yeah, we really cannot thank you enough. It was spectacular. I think I said spectacular again. You did, but it was. So it's worth saying again. Okay, we're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back to talk about UTOS phenomenon. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> This time of year, a lot of our patients start feeling pretty crappy once they get exposed to hot weather. You get a lot of calls? This is an amazing thing. Every year, I'm amazed that despite how much we talk with our patients about the effect of changes in core body temperature on nerve conduction and their symptoms, everyone seems to forget about that when summer comes or they exercise or spend time outdoors. So even though everyone knows it or we've discussed it, people seem to minimize the effect of an increase in body temperature on how they're doing. And we've seen time and time again that people are outside gardening, they can't get up to go back in the house, they're fatigued, they become foggy minded, they have recurrent of their numbness and tingling, weakness, please realize that this is a reversible problem called... It's called Uthoff's phenomenon. Do you know where Uthoff was from? I'd say he was from Germany. That's a good guess, but as it turns out, actually, he was from Germany. Yeah, I know. I'm kidding. You got oh. Germany. Yeah, I know. Of course, Uthoff was from Germany. But you know when he described Uthoff's phenomenon? He was living in Needham. <laughs> <laughs> no. So here's a little bit of information about our friend Wilhelm Uthoff, spelled U-H-T-H-O-F-F. I guess that would be Uthoff, but we say Uthoff. So he was born on July 31st, 1853. We're coming up on his birthday. So Uthoff was a German ophthalmologist, and in 1890, he described several patients with optic neuritis who had temporary vision loss linked with physical exercise. And he wrote a paper about it, and that's what ultimately gave rise to the description of Uthoff's phenomenon, where we see an increase in someone's pre-existing neurological symptoms with a small rise in core body temperature. One of the things that comes up frequently is that people have a misconception about exposure to the heat. They're sometimes told by physicians that if you have MS, you should avoid the heat because it's bad for you. And it certainly can make you feel worse, but it isn't going to make your disease any worse. Having Uthoff's phenomenon doesn't actually cause any damage. It just temporarily worsens your symptoms. It's not harmful for the disease. Very important to understand that. So if you like going out in the heat, it's absolutely fine. It's also worth mentioning that while most people have trouble with heat, there are a fair number of patients who actually find the opposite. They feel better in heat, and cold makes them feel worse. So Uthoff's phenomenon can also happen when your core body temperature goes down. Okay, we're going to take another quick break, but we'll be right back. Now I'm talking over myself. No, that was good. I like that. So I guess the other thing we want to talk about is that we're going to be going live with our new website. Do you, do you have I'm very the, uh, excited about that. Yeah, do you have the address available? It's Elliot with two L's and one T, ElliotLewisMS.org, and it should be live in the next week or two, we hope. So why did we call it the Elliot Lewis Center? That's sort of a long 
and a short story. We actually thought long and hard about what we should name the MS Center, besides just calling it the MS Center. And we decided to dedicate our MS program to two people that have been extremely influential and important in our thinking over the years. The first is someone who's near and dear to everyone's heart. That's Jeannie Lewis, our nurse for over the past decade. Jeannie always has extra time for patients, spends countless hours on the phone, always has time to listen and never makes the patients feel rushed. And on top of that, always knows what to do with them, always knows what treatment to offer them. If so I, I... I just want to say right here, sorry to break in. Do you know people like it when we talk over each other, by the way? Okay. So, yeah, so she is also a very humble person. If you are a patient, don't mention this to her. But we She doesn't really, like attention. Yeah, but we feel very strongly that she's such an important member of our team that we wanted to name our center, at least in part, after her. That's correct. And then the other person. Thank you, Jeannie. And then the other person is Dr. Elliot Froman. The Elliot comes from Elliot and Elliot Froman, who is a professor of neurology and MS at UT Southwestern in Dallas, Texas. He's a preeminent MS neurologist who is renowned for his clinical and his research work, as well as for his love of his patients. He has been a mentor to both of us over the years and has kept our spirits up and has continued to re assure us that we're doing the right thing for our patients and how important this work is. So thank you to both Elliot and Jeannie. I'll just say one other thing about Elliot. He is definitely a special kind of guy. He is super bright. Every time I talk to him, I'm impressed with how incredibly brilliant he is. And he's also full of energy. He's really a lively person and he's a lot of fun. So he's, and he's a He's character. a lot of fun and we love fun. Yep. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's been saying for years that it's all about the love and it takes a lot of time to take care of MS patients properly and it's worth doing so because the rewards are huge and we buy into that big time. There you have it, the Elliot Lewis Center. Great. So I think that's it. We're going to wrap it up and uh, I don't know, next show, what do you think we should do? Well, we'll figure that out and we'll get back to you. Everyone enjoy their summer. Stay safe, stay, stay cool, manage your body temperature. 